getting to the bottom of an attempted abduction story in Batavia. Good evening. Police spared no effort looking for a would-be kidnapper in Batavia, but the so-called crime turned out to be a schoolgirl's hoax. News 4's Milas Hairston joins us live from Batavia with the story now. Milas? It's been an interesting day here in Batavia for police dealing with a 14-year-old with an act of imagination. A 14-year-old who probably could not have imagined the problems her lie would cause. Batavia police went door to door trying to get leads after a 14 year old girl claimed she was abducted on her way to Batavia Middle School Monday morning. We have discovered that um, she was in fact not abducted as it was originally reported to us. That news came several hours after authorities held this news conference. Investigators not willing to leave anything to chance checked out the child's story. If you do report a false incident, it ties up a lot of man hours on something that, you know, didn't in fact occur. Um, we were treating this whole thing as an actual incident until we found out otherwise. The girl claimed she was abducted by a stranger around 745 Monday morning at Washington Avenue and State Street. About three hours later, she showed up at the district office telling her tale to the school superintendent, Margaret Puzio. I assume she walked that way to school every day and noticed that district office. I assume that somehow when she got free, she was near there and decided that was a safe place. What happened as a result of her telling her original story? Well, uh, we've had a lot of detectives and uh, officers on the case um, conducting interviews and canvassing the area looking for witnesses and also, you know, talking to several people that were, uh, you know, in the area. So a lot of police resources wasted for a story that was not true. Why did this girl lie? Where was she? And how much trouble is she in? The only thing police will say tonight is that their investigation is continuing. Reporting live, Myles Hairston for the 10 o'clock news.